Hey guys, welcome to another Bitter Butter Render Blender tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change your render times by a lot. Now you're probably thinking this is another one of those videos where I'll be going through the render properties and optimizing a bunch of render settings to get a faster render time. But the issue with those kind of tutorials are that they only change your render times by a little and they can be really picky and if you don't know what you're doing, you can seriously mess up your scene. So without further ado, let's get started. So now in this method, you can see that the render times have changed a lot. This was before and this was after. And the reason this is happening is because when you're rendering in a render engine that ray traces, meaning the render engine calculates the light bounces, that's what takes up most of your render times. It's just a bunch of maths calculation the 3D software is doing. But what if the software didn't have to do that? In fact, all the lights and the reflections and the bump maps and the displacements are already baked in to the texture. So all you have to do is apply the texture onto an object and just literally show an image as the render output without calculating any light. And well, that's what we're gonna be doing here. So first of all, let's make our scene a little more easier to navigate through. We'll drag this out here. Now this is my preference, but if you want to do it something else, you can. And then I'm gonna drag this out and I'm, I'm gonna make this the image editor and I'm gonna make this the shader editor. And this can be our 3D viewport like always. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a texture and then we're gonna be baking all the lights onto that texture and then we're gonna apply that texture to our object. So first of all, I'm gonna choose my cube that I added. Now, previously I did have a plane, but the plane didn't work really well. Now, maybe that was just an issue with me, but it could be an issue with you as well. If it doesn't work properly, you can always add a cube which can act as a plane. Or if you don't have a plane, it really doesn't matter. So first of all, we're gonna be choosing the object. Then on the shader editor, we're gonna be adding a new image texture. Now this image texture is where the texture will be baked into. And then over here, we're gonna create a new texture. I'm gonna name this whatever you want. So let me just name it floor, wooden, planks. You can untick alpha. And since this is a image texture, you'd want to go with a higher res, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna keep it with this. Then you can click okay. And you can see that there's now a texture that we just created. Now it is black, but that's because we still haven't baked anything onto there. And then remember that image texture we created, we can choose the floor wooden plank texture or whatever texture you created to that. Now we're gonna actually start the baking. Now make sure in the render properties, make sure you're rendering in cycles, scroll down, go into bake, and make sure the bake type is combined. And all you have to do is click bake. And as you can see, now the light and everything is baked into the texture. Now, if you're starting to get random tiling issues and all that, make sure to go on the UV editing and make sure all your faces are inside the boundaries, especially the one that's facing the camera. And because since now the light isn't being calculated and Blender doesn't treat the object as one object, instead, if you scale it up, it's just gonna start tiling because the lights are now a part of the texture. Okay, now I've done that to every single texture I have and make sure you do that too and make sure all your objects are unwrapped as well or else this method won't work. And now here's where the magic happens. Once I start deleting the lights, you can see that the scene still looks the same. And that's because Blender isn't calculating any light bounces anymore. All the lights are just baked into the texture. And in fact, if we can even change the render engine to EV, and it would literally make no difference because they're just image textures now. And you can click render image. We're getting the same render output, except it rendered out in less than a second. Okay, that was it for today's tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification button, and I'll see you in the next one.